back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video was a request about coming to grips on whether or not your ex will ever truly regret losing having you in their life. Now, you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time, and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. It's always the things that we love most that feel like they almost destroy us, don't it? And that makes for an interesting dynamic in how we view ourselves. When you look back at that relationship, you likely understand and realize now, in hindsight, when things began going left. But, and this is a big ass but, it doesn't make you feel any different about how you were treated. Even though you can likely pinpoint when your ex began acting different towards you, not giving you the same level of attention and energy that they used to, not caring about whether or not they said something that was hurtful to you, it doesn't suffice in your journey to healing afterwards. And do you know what that does? It makes you question your value and self-worth. And for as much as you can try and motivate yourself, daily quotes, motivating ass posts, research, it only gives you a temporary high of confidence that this is the only way. Not only that, it makes you wonder, do they even regret it? Like literally, do they care about how you feel, how they did you wrong, how they detached from you during the relationship, how they monkey branched into a new rebound relationship, how they just seem to be an unrecognizable person towards the end? And the reality is, we know the answer to that question, but on the real, the acceptance is the part that's the hardest. Like, come on now, after all of those years, the I love yous, the magical times, the marriage, the vacation, the kids, they have to have some sort of regret about it, right? If nothing else, at least for knowing that you're a good ass person, right? Wrong. See, the hard part about relationships in general is coming to grips with that everybody doesn't care about how others feel. And I know, you thought they did. You thought you knew so much about them, what they feel, how they'd fight for your love if things were ever to come to this point. Because that's what we always hear, ain't it? How someone doesn't know what they would do without you until, well, until they're actually without you, living this good ass life, enjoying themselves without you. Meanwhile, they told you a mere six months ago how special and important you were to their lives. And regret isn't something that's built into everybody, right? Because in order to regret, that means you have to admit that you made a mistake. Admit that your ex was good to and for you. Admit that everything you were giving them, but that don't mean they'll ever tell you that. And why would that? Come back begging and apologizing after how they left? Most people are too proud for that. That ego that we all have. And besides, is there anything your ex could ever tell you that would suffice for the pain that you feel right now? After all that you invested, you deserved better. But the truth is, everybody wasn't raised with the same morals and values as you. Everybody ain't dedicated, doesn't love as hard, isn't as empathetic to the cares and needs for others. And guess what? That's okay. You got healing and growing to do. You got levels to reach that are still unrealized right now. But you also have someone out there who will appreciate, care, understand, love, and be the energy you poured into your raggedy ass sex. And you deserve that, don't you? So fuck your ex's regret. That shit won't help you be the best version of you. That you truly deserve to be in this moment in time in your life. You got this. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and come and join a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.